Yo, what's good, YouTube? This your boy Jarrell here, holding it down for Jarrell Fitness. And y'all already know, man, it's time to grow, bro. Shout out to the T2G Nation. I see y'all watching. What's up, man? So anyway, now that we got that long-ass intro out of the way, we can go ahead and get it on with the video footage. So check it out, guys. This is just a quick workout that I wanted to show you guys. It's not a full workout, but I wanted to show you guys three exercises that I think are pretty good staples for any type of chest workout. Um, although this workout consists of um, doing chest, shoulders, and triceps, I just wanted to show you guys the chest part because, you know, it might help somebody out, you know, that's kind of confused about what type of exercises they should be doing to hit different parts of their chest. So these these exercises that I'm going to show you guys are typically what I do on chest day. Uh, sometimes I switch it up from dumbbells to um, to straight bar, kind of like back and forth. But I like to start off by just working overall chest. OK, so I start with the flat barbell bench press, as you guys can see. Um, the first thing we did was warm up with like a 25 pound plate on each side that's about 95 pounds we warmed up for about two sets just to get the blood flowing and then we moved on um, my first set right here my working set I did um 225 for about um I would say seven reps I believe I did um, I was going for that eighth rep but I couldn't really get it up you know like I said it was my first working set so sometimes you know your energy and your blood really don't be pumping so you may feel a little weak when it comes to that first working set you got to get used to that heavy weight I mean jumping from 95 pounds up to 225 is kind of a hell of a jump but it's all good so um, so I was able to hit that like seven times failed on that eighth rep and then my boy Gary right here he doing his his 135 that he does as usual it's usually what he starts out with so like I said um flat barbell branch press is definitely a great exercise um believe it or not I really wasn't feeling this workout too much um kind of had my mind on a lot of other different shit you know you know personal shit you know nothing nothing that got to do with y'all but just some personal shit but you try not to let stuff like that get to you when you go to the gym you just try to like to try to clear your head and just trying to focus okay so um but I was doing the best I could so right here this is um 235 so I went ahead and increased the weight by 10 pounds and I believe I'm gonna do about um about five repetitions of this so I like to kind of increase the weight you know every set and then um, at the very end I like to kind of just drop the weight back down to what I started with and just go ahead and do that for as many reps as I can but but like I say this this 235 right here I was able to hit that five times um, and once again I just really wasn't feeling it at the gym and um, just advice for you guys if you ever go to the gym and you feel discouraged um, try to do as, as many warm-up sets as you need to do until you feel like your body is in the flow of working out Because sometimes if you kind of just jump straight into the heavy weight and you don't really warm up enough Sometimes it can kind of throw you off a little bit or it may kind of work against you because sometimes you can do too many warm-up sets And then you will fuck yourself up. So make sure that you don't over exert yourself doing too many warm-up sets but don't but don't just go into a working set without doing some type of nice warm-up set so you know like I said it's the gift and the courage you got to kind of just know your body you know everything's different so as you guys can see right here I'm doing this um this 245 so you guys gonna see how many times I was able to hit that so go ahead and check it out took the bitch down slow and as soon as I picked it up I kind of felt like you know what today's not my day so but like I say you, you live to fight another day that's the whole point so you just got to get in the gym and just give it a crack you know what I'm saying we all have our days don't get discouraged and um, just keep on pushing so here's Gary right here I believe that's um 35 that's 155 right there so he did that for like a one rep max you know just to get his strength up and everything like that so as you guys can see right here in this part of the video I'm taking off my Enzer 13 millimeter belt lever belt so that's a great belt I kind of like to wear it while I'm bench pressing sometimes because it keeps my body nice and tight because um, you know when you're doing bench press like this um, sometime if you if the weight gets kind of heavy you may end up like bending your lower back a little bit too much you can actually kind of hurt yourself a little bit you know so you got to be real careful that you don't bend your back too much getting into your bench press form so I like to kind of use that for safety sometimes but like I said this was my last set I just wanted to wrap it out as many times as I could with this 225 and um, this is what I did so 
Um, I just wanted to, you know, because sometimes the belt, the wearing a belt can kind of restrict your breathing a little bit. So I felt comfortable enough to take it off. So that's what's up. I usually don't bench with a belt, but man, it's just crazy today, man. I don't feel mentally ready to be in this gym today, man. It's just one of those type of days. I mean, everybody have workouts like this. I'm gonna just keep my best to keep it going, man. So let's go. All right, guys, so that was a quick message from me. So anyway, then we moved on to my second favorite exercise. Damn, somebody texting me and shit. Okay, that's my wife. Anyway, continue on with the video. So check it out. So anyway, as you guys can see, I, I moved on to work some upper chest. I believe this is probably the best exercise, in my opinion, to build a nice upper chest, okay? Um, you see, I got the 100s right here. I was surprised I was actually able to do these for... A few reps, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, ain't really fuck with these in a while. Usually I'll go with like the 95s, 90s or something like that. But I just wanted to go heavy for this first set just to get anything out of me that I had. So I think I did pretty good. Then we here go Gary right there doing his 45s right there. So and he pretty much just reps it out. You know, he don't go real heavy, but he just kind of get that nice hypertrophy going. So that's what's up. So this is a great exercise for building your upper chest. Gives you that very good stretch at the bottom, you know, so. And some people, you can actually turn the dumbbells in a little bit to kind of take a little bit ten, a ten of tension off of your front delts. But, you know, it is what it is. Everybody got their own preference. So as you can see right here, I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and increase the weight by five pounds. So I'm going to fuck with these 105s. And one thing I really don't like about these um, dumbbells in my gym, LA Fitness, is that the bar, the grip, the hand grips are a little thicker than with the 100s. It seems like when the weight gets over, like at the 100s, 100-pound 100, 100 dumbbells, it feels just right, like a regular barbell. But when you get to like the 105s and above, it's like the grip is a little more fatter. You know what I'm saying? So, as you guys saw, I failed right there. You know, I think I only get like, what, two reps in? But it was all good. I just wanted to do what I could. And then I went ahead and dropped the shit down to the 90s. And I said, you know what, let me go ahead and do as many as I can. Even though I was feeling fucked up, but I said, you know, let me go ahead and just knock this out real quick. And um, that's what's up. So, but this is a great exercise. Definitely should be a staple of staple in anybody's uh, chest workout. Um, especially just the first two exercises alone. Just those two, you should be doing those. You know, whether it whether it's the um, the straight bar version or the dumbbell version you should be doing either one of those so anyway um i like to focus on the upper chest a lot because that's one of the main parts of your chest that shows and you know you can see it at the top of your v-neck in the summertime so we went ahead and just wanted to hit it a little bit more kind of like on the isolation tip so we're using this machine right here this is an incline bench press machine as you guys can see so i like this machine i'm doing 225 right there I like to get that good stretch at the bottom i don't have any stabilizers working against me so i just get to push the weight up and just kind of focus and isolate you can do pause reps so did a few sets of this and then we continued on with the workout you know worked our shoulders triceps and you know that was pretty much it guys so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like the video go ahead and like it comment and subscribe to your boy jarell here jarell fitness and like i said in the beginning y'all already know it's time to grow bro i'm gonna holler at y'all later deuces